Etsy is a massive global marketplace for print-on-demand products, but it's also super competitive. Successful sellers compete in niches with relatively high demand and relatively low competition. I like using the niche research tool Everbee, and in this video I'm going to walk through the main features and how it works. So if you're thinking of purchasing Everbee, or if you have it and you want to get the most out of it, you're in the right place. Let's jump in. All right, when you first log into Everbee, you're gonna see a menu along the left-hand side. And there's an area here for your shop if you've connected a shop onto Etsy. There's a product analytics tab and a few other tabs as well. We're gonna start off here actually with the keyword research tab. And what we're gonna do is just type in a keyword research tool. Now this is a tag, so when you're on Etsy and you see a product listing, the words inside that listing form keywords. So people are searching for this on Etsy. So for example, I've typed in funny t-shirt. And so on Etsy, the monthly search volume is 2,071. So about 2,000 searches a month where people are searching for funny t-shirt. You'll see the competition here is pretty fierce. It's over 2 million competing listings. And as a result, that means the keyword score is low. It's zero, which is the lowest you can get. So the trick is to find different keywords that will score higher. So here you can see I've niched down. I've now typed in funny doctor t-shirt. Search volume is 63. Competition's 10,000. It gets me a little bit it, better keyword score. Remember, even if the search volume is low, that's not necessarily a deal breaker because at 63 every month and over a year or over multiple years, you can build a following, especially if you have a lot of different listings. So here's an example of a very niched item. This is medieval shirt. And you can see here the search volume is almost 500, competition is about 10,000. And that just means that their competition, the listings have this keyword somewhere in it. It doesn't necessarily mean it's an identical item. As you can see down below, there's different keywords that are similar. So the keyword score here is 50, which is a pretty good score. And you can see there's related keywords down below. You can see here the keyword score on some of these are actually quite high, 420, 310, 280, and so on. So here's a great example, medieval rat shirt, the search volume is 25, the competition is only 100, that gives me a very high keyword score of 250. So here I am back on Etsy, I've typed in medieval rat shirt, and you'll see I get back 233 results, now that's with ads. So remember that may pump up the total amount of results, but that's okay. We're gonna flip down here and we're gonna see if anything is selling. And see here, these are ads, it says right here, ad by Etsy seller, and we can see there's a monthly sale here of one, a monthly sales of 11. As I scroll down, these are the more organic search results based on actual sales. We can see here, this is probably the best selling shirt on here. Here's another one over here as well but I'm gonna click on this black death t-shirt and we can see it's like a parody shirt it kind of looks like a heavy metal t-shirt but instead of a concert tour it's the European tour so obviously very dark humor and monthly sales are 86 shirts total sales almost 1500 shirts and almost a hundred thousand views not bad for a 17 month old listing now if you're wondering how can I see this result on inside of Etsy I'm gonna show you how you can get this information to pop up in every one of your Etsy listings later on in this video. Here's another t-shirt that's selling well. This is old school Crazy Rats vintage 90s t-shirt and it's grunge clothing, 78 sales. Good price point too, it's in 20 plus baskets and total sales over 200. So these are selling. This is a great way that you can jump into Etsy, you can find out what's selling and you can compete in marketplaces where you know people are actually looking for these items. Next up, we have the Shop Analyzer, which is a great tool if you'd like to spy and take a look at an individual seller on Etsy. Here's the main page. I've clicked on Shop Analyzer here on the left-hand side, and we'll see a bunch of shops come up. Now, I haven't typed anything here into the search window, so I can just scroll through, and I can just look at different shops if that's what I wanna do, or I can type into the search window the name of the store, and you'd find that on Etsy. Here's an example. I've typed in Wickerium. Now, remember, that's that Black Death T-shirt that we just saw and we can see all the different listings that they have on Etsy. The monthly sales, the monthly revenue, even the reviews and the listing ages. There's lots of different information here that you can take a look at. You can also export this stuff as well right here. If I click on the export button that'll send a spreadsheet right to my computer where I can then look this up in Excel and I can filter and sort to my heart's content. Another thing I like in this screen is the tag analytics as well. When I click on the tag analytics, you'll see here's all the different keywords that this seller is using, and we can see the volume of search results and the competition, and look at all the keyword scores that are above zero. 
They've got a lot of stuff that maybe you haven't thought of before. Plague Doctor, Grunge, Fairy Chord, Death Rock. If this is a niche that you're interested in competing in, then it can be helpful to have alternate and additional keywords at your disposal. You can also look at individual product analytics on Everbee as well. So here's the main page. I've just clicked on product analytics on the left and it starts looking through different products. Again, I've typed in nothing here so far. I'm just scrolling through the top products. But if you know the name of the product on Etsy, and here's an example, Crazy Rats Vintage 90s t-shirt, I'm just gonna highlight this right here. I'm gonna copy it. And then in the products analytics page, I'm going to paste this in and I'm going to click search. And here I can see I've got two results that come up. I'm gonna click the one here for old school culture. That's the one I want. And we can see here over on the right hand side, the listing details are gonna come up with information, monthly sales, monthly revenue. I can also look at the shop as well. So you can toggle between the two pretty easily here. We can see down below, Everbee even offers sales charts, different tags, competition. There's a ton of information here, courtesy of Everbee. So you can look at any individual listing in addition to the shop. Now, if you're wondering, how am I getting all of this sales information on here? The answer is this little Everbee Chrome extension. And I'm going to show you how to get that right now. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're using Google Chrome when you're on Etsy and on Everbee, and then type into Google Chrome Web Store. And then you're going to type in here under the search extensions and themes, Everbee and we'll see that it comes up here with this extension. So there'll be a little button right here that says add to Chrome, and then it just adds into your Chrome browser. That means when you go on to Etsy and you're scrolling through, you'll automatically see stuff pop up. As long as you're signed into Everbee, and then you're signed into Etsy, Everbee knows that you're on there and that it's you, and you can look through here and make some really informed decisions about your print on demand journey. The Etsy calculator is a useful tool on Everbee. You just go to the left menu and you click on Etsy calculator and you'll see this pops up. There's a standard option and an advanced option. I've got the advanced option open and I've got my listed price here. I'm gonna list at $25. My shipping price, let's say I'm charging $8 for shipping. And then my discount, I'm not gonna offer any discount. Now the cost of my item, let's say it is $12 for the cost of my t-shirt, for example. And then the packaging cost, let's say it's $1. And then my shipping cost, let's say it's also $8. So I'm just charging the same $8 to the client. Now the advertising, I'm not gonna put anything in. And the payment method, let's say I'm using PayPal. You can see here right on the right hand side, it shows me the net profit, the cost of goods sold, the shipping cost, the fees. It's very quick to calculate exactly. So you're not gonna get burned if you're listing on Etsy and you're a new seller. Sometimes what happens is we miscalculate how much things cost and we actually wind up losing money when we make a sale. Using the Etsy calculator, I can list with confidence knowing that I'm actually making money and having fun doing it. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I love using Everbee. I'll put a link to Everbee in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link and that just means that if you purchase the Everbee subscription, I would receive a small commission. I use Everbee a lot and not just for Etsy. You can use it for your own website. You can also use it for crafting. It doesn't just need to be for print on demand. It's a very useful tool to glean market analytics in a very user-friendly way. Here's another video on how you can have some fun in the world of niche research.